So you completed your 21 day challenge from Brittany Babe. Congratulations! Congratulations. Woo! Excellent! I'm so happy for you. You finished 21 days Brittany Babe challenge. You lost weight. You ate right. Awesome! 21 days. Day 22. What now? So now we're on day 22 and you really don't know what to do. This video is for you. I'm gonna give you five tips, count them, five. Five tips of things you can do after you complete a Brittany Babe 21 day challenge. Things that will keep you on track or your fitness goals and keep you losing weight. Everything you learned from the Brittany Babe challenge, but make it a little bit more sustainable and last longer than 21 days. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love this challenge and I definitely stand behind it. If you check out the videos linked up in the cards, you'll see that I've done this challenge a couple times. But now we're talking about the aftermath. So tip number one is decide what you liked and what you didn't like from the challenge. This can help you narrow down the things that you want to keep for your lifestyle and the things that you don't want to keep. And we're not talking about, oh, I didn't like the fact that I ate right. Really, boo? Like, you have to eat right to lose weight. One of the things that I didn't like is the length of the workout. So I know for me to sustain my health and fitness journey, my workouts have to be much shorter. I have a very busy life, and I don't have time to be spending an hour working out. Tip number two is what was challenging but easy for you to maintain during the 21 days. These are things that were pushing you to the limit, but at the same time, you really loved doing them for the 21 days and you know you can continue to do this again. For me, this was just the working out period. I love how I felt after I worked out. I loved how I felt when I was consistent when I worked out. And I loved the results that I got when I was working out. So yes, it was challenging. It was about discipline, but it was easy for me to maintain this because I wanted to do it. I want to work out. The third tip I have for you is to make your own calendar. The Brittany Babe Challenge, she gives you a calendar. She gives you your workouts, what days you should work out, what days you should rest. So what I would suggest is you make a weekly workout routine. Just take what you liked again and what you didn't like from the challenge, just discard that and take what you like and put it into your weekly routine. Create a weekly routine that fits you and your lifestyle, the people around you in your home and things that will benefit you and that you can of course maintain throughout your life. You're the best person to do this for you. You know what your week looks like. So putting together a weekly routine for your fitness will help you be able to maintain it for weeks to come. Not just three weeks, but for the rest of your fitness journey. Tip number four is to make a custom meal plan. Something for yourself. Once again, in the 21 day challenge, and he gives you a day by day breakdown of things you can eat, which is of course a great when you're just starting out and you don't know what to do. But by this point, you kind of know what you should be eating and what you shouldn't be eating. And you created a habit at this point of eating healthy and not eating bad. Setting a meal plan allows you to one, maintain your healthy eating habits because you have a plan. Today I'm going to eat a salad, tomorrow I'm going to eat some salmon. But you have it written down on the meal plan of what you can eat and what you can eat and also laid out on what days you're going to eat what meal. It's definitely going to help you maintain and surpass the 21 days and keep you on your healthy journey. Before I share my last tip, if you're new here, my name is Nicole Charnel. Welcome to my channel. Here you'll find videos about health and fitness as well as minimalism and intentional living. I'm also working on sharing my creativity in ways to help you improve your happiness and inner peace. Tip number five, choose a reward or a day to reward yourself. The bad thing about the 21 day challenge is it was only 21 days. It's not a lifetime. But the good thing was it was only 21 days. So you knew which day you could have your reward, which day you were looking forward to, which day you were finally gonna have that cheat day, which day you were gonna stop, eat that ice cream cone and congratulate yourself. This is super important, having something to look forward to, having that day where you know something good is gonna happen, having that day where you know you get to treat yourself is very important. It's important for your mind space, it kinda keeps you going, keeps you moving forward, because you know you have to move forward to get to that reward day. 
It also helps you focus on your goal. If your end goal is to maintain a healthy lifestyle, you still can get those rewards and those cheat days. If your goal is an actual number, your weight coming down, you still can have those days in there where you're going to reward yourself. Yes, I'm 10 pounds closer to my goal. Yes, I'm 20 pounds closer to my goal. Whatever it is, Give yourself a reward. Pat yourself on the back. Encourage yourself because if you don't, there's no guarantee someone else is going to. Now, the only thing left to do is actually start this healthy lifestyle that will last you a lifetime. After applying these five tips to what you learned from the 21 day Brittany Babe challenge, you should be able to make your health and fitness journey more sustainable, making it last definitely more than 21 days, and hopefully applying it to your life and your lifestyle from now on. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my playlist where I have all my health and fitness videos put together for you. It has uh, my reviews of the 21 day challenge as well as some healthy food videos. Thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!